who is the puppet master Rockefeller. He created and postulated these theories and his dynamics, which we are stuck. If you do not follow his dynamics, you cannot have a job. You cannot have anything which are, you know, what you call facilities to enjoy your life. No prerogatives for you and no privileges for you. So if you want to have good privileges, you have to follow Rockefeller medium. And this is the unfortunate part for being Muslims. Ibn Khaldun and many other philosophers and thinkers in the past, they have created all these new educational system. And now, unfortunately, we do not know. So we are stuck in the system. What is the solution? Solution is only one. You have to uproot all these things by putting the true methodology of Islamic eschatology, which was laid by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, blueprint and implemented by four guided caliphates. There is no other way. Look at the Islam in Baghdad. At the time of Ibn Jafar Ibn al-Mansur, the advanced medicines, Muslims were, you know, on the highest level in Baghdad. It was the great paradigm shift and how much prolific scholars, pioneered scholars, they produced in those universities. Now we have lost it. They angelicize the names, they Latinize the names. Who knows how to catch the joke? Nobody knows what is the truth. So the information is there to you, but knowledge is taken away. I always tell people, you can never have that knowledge. The real knowledge is kept by those secret societies. Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Jews, all these people, the secrets are free missionaries. They have been working the social engineering for many years it has been going on. It's not new. And this is what it is. Can you believe from which part we are not being hit? Everywhere you go, it is only declining, downfalling of the Muslim civilization. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially the people who are in universities, the schools, schools goers, please learn things in your life with understanding. Do not be a parrot. Do not be the slave of the system, the system laid by Rockefeller, many other, uh, you know, Western educationalists, which you, you know, think that they are the only solution for us or for you. Please, you have to come out from that bubble, the bubble of haze, the bubble of mystery, the bubble of enigma. This is all not true, guys. You have to think beyond that par excellence. Otherwise, I'm telling you, this bubble, the circle, the vicious circle we has been, we have been circum circumambulating will never go away. It is like a tawaf. You keep doing it for the oscillation. This oscillation has to be cut off. Can you believe any guy or a person who finishes bachelor's of business administration? And after that, he or she is able to know that how the money is being printed. What is this, you know, what you call the value, intrinsic value of something in the monetary system? I don't think so. We do not know how the money is being printed. Yes, we only know what money brings. You print more, you have more debts. But what is this mechanism? How does it work? Who controls the gold? Who makes this gold up and down? On what values you are creating performance related pays of people? How do you decide that this man should deserve this money, this salary? On what grounds? Is it ground of nationalities? Islam doesn't promote that. Islam has no racial slurs, no racial discrimination. Islam is very clear. Anyone who discriminates on the grounds of language, color, riches, or what else will perish. This is the Hadith of Prophet. So tell me, how can we have a system where you can justify that this guy should take this money, for example, a janitor or a president in the company. Janitor is working far ahead than the president as it appears, but look the salary of the president and look at the salary of the 
janitor. I'm not talking about the president of the country. I'm talking about the president of the company or organization. This is the fact. Now, this system of hierarchy, the values, who laid it through the educational system of Rockefeller. They created this all system that you have this praxis and this praxis of pyramid. This must have this. This guy must have this not beyond that. So you always be a slave of economics, economical slave, money, monetary slave, and you can never come out from this oscillation. It is like a whirlpool or a whirlwind which will suck you down till you reach to your grave. This is the system. There's no other way. You are educated. Your degrees will be only accepted through the standards of Rockefeller. Can you create your own syllabus, your own curriculum, and you boast to the world that this curriculum must be implemented? I said, go and try. Let, let us see. It will not work because the system we have lost. I'm very sad because I belong to educational fields and mashallah. So I'm very sad when I see that Muslims, the way we are derailing ourselves for away and away from the real knowledge and education.